Hi, I'm Danny. And I'm Liz. And we're from Sarsa. <laughs> and today we are so excited that you are tuning in to STEM Adventure and that we get to show you an activity. This activity is called Secret Sounds. So everybody be quiet! Thanks, Liz. <laughs> okay, what you're going to need for this activity is you're going to need some forks, which you won't find in your activity kit. So go find some forks. And you will need some yarn, which you will find in your activity kit. And that's all you need for this secret sounds activity. All right, what you're going to do is somewhere in the middle of the yarn, and really you can cut it so it's smaller, so it's shorter. Um, somewhere in the middle of your yarn, you are going to, here Liz, you want to put together a secret sounds Thing. In the middle of your yarn, you're going to tie a knot so that the fork can hang in the middle of the yarn. All right, so look, I have this giant fork, and see how it's hanging in the middle of this yarn? And Liz is working on hers. Got it. All right. Can it hang in the middle? Okay. I had to tighten my knot to get mine to stay. Nice. So you might have to do that too. Yeah, I had to tighten kind of like two knots to, okay. to do it. All right. Now, what you're going to do is first, okay, you're going to hit your fork against, against something hard. I have this nice hard table here. Make sure it's not a person. Okay. So, okay. No, not a okay. no living thing. Okay. No living good. thing. Good. Okay. Hey, these are good things to clarify. All right. So you hit the fork. Ooh, can you hear that? All right. Now you're gonna go like this, and you're gonna put the yarn up your ear. Don't stick your finger in your ears. Just put it kind of next to your ear. All right, let's okay, keep it. So you're like looping it over your finger. Yeah, I'm kind of holding the thing. Okay. And that's why I'd say, you know, you can have a shorter one. Okay. Um, and you put it against yours. Okay. And then try to hit it again. Whoa. Ooh. You hear that? Let's see if it's different if I hit your fork with another one. Okay. And try to hit it with different things. See if it makes a difference. Hmm. It's for me, it's kind of the same. But what I can't believe is that it doesn't really sound very pretty when I'm just smacking the fork against something hard. But when I'm putting it up to my ears, it sounds amazing. It's different, isn't it? It's really okay, different. it's your turn to try it. Try it and see what you got. Try hitting it with different things, too. Maybe try to hit it with, um, we hit it with something metal, right? But then maybe try hitting it with something wooden, like a ruler or something or a pencil. See if that makes anything different as well. And then we ask ourselves, what is going on here? What is happening? Why do I have, why do I hear it something differently when I'm putting the yarn up to my ears as opposed to when I am just hitting it on the table and listening? What do you think is happening? <laughs> so what is going on here? Why can we hear it so much better when we have the yarn up to our ears as opposed to hitting the table and just listening? What is going on? Well, what do we know about sound? We know that sound travels in waves, right? And how it does that is as the molecules bounce into each other, as they bump into each other, that's how the waves go. The actual molecule doesn't move, but it's just each of those molecules bumping into, then bumping to the next one, then bumping to the next one, that creates like that wave. a whole bunch of little vi vibrations. Just like when you hit it, you can feel the fork yeah. vibrate. That's the sound that you're hearing, is that same feeling you can get from the fork. Mm -hmm. It's going back and forth bouncing, right? So, um, what do we know about the difference between sound, between air, air as a state of matter, and solid? That hurts. That what can we discover there? We know that then molecules are further away in the air, right? Mm -hmm. Allowing us to easily move through the air, easily move through those air molecules, as opposed to, I can't move through this and I just hurt my knuckles because the molecules there are so tight. 
right? So same with here, we have the yarn uh, is a solid, even though it's kind of wigglier and not, you know, not as harmful as the, as that table, but, um, but it's still solid, right? So we have here, the sound is traveling through the air to my ears. And when we do this, um, when we hit it like this, then the sound is actually traveling through the yarn to, to our ears. Okay, but Danny, I'm noticing that when I put my ear next to something solid, well, wait, they're both solid, mm -hmm. but when, I, when I'm hitting it, I can't hear it as well. Let me see. Right, that is not the same as secret sounds, is it? Yeah, let's see. That's different. So what is different between this yarn and the solid? Well, the yarn, I think, let's see. Yarn can be cut. You don't try to cut the table, but I believe that you can. Okay, all right. <laughs> this is not our table. <laughs> um, yeah, I think you're right. And I think that has to do with the molecules again, right? Yeah. So we have, yeah. even if solids in general are closer together, it's certainly, this is harder. So the molecules are even more tightly packed. Right. Okay. Right. So when they're too close together, the sound doesn't travel as well. Yeah. So that's why when I'm trying to listen to what my parents are saying and the door's closed, I have to like really try to put my, my ear up and it still really muffles the sound. Yeah, I think that's right. I think that's why doors and windows are effective barriers for sound. Cool. Okay, these are the types of things that you should be noticing and wondering. My question now is we didn't get to do it. What about liquid? How does sound travel through liquid? Oh my gosh. We have to find out. So that's up to you. Please find out and tell us on Live Friday for some adventure. Put in the chat and let us know because I'll be really looking forward to your answer. Thank you so much for participating in STEM Adventure. I hope you are having as much fun as we are. <laughs> Absolutely. Bye. Bye.